Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Emmanuel Aibogun, they ask whether it did good for a state governor, Godwin Obaseki, to the support Buhari for cashless policy. We bring come. Make I leave you, make you hear from Emmanuel Aibogun, the message we bring come today. Yes. A warm good evening to you, all my conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than yours. Noble right activist, comrade I Bogu Manuel. Uh, if you are just joining me, I am not really happy with the situation of issues going on in the state. And as to the decision of the Edo state government to join in a suit with the federal government against the flow of cash in our economy. Uh, before we talk, because as I rightly said earlier, things are getting out of hand and the center and the center can no longer hold. You all will agree with me that a do state is one state where conscious minds are always out to ensure that the right thing is done. I don't really think those persons who we saw the governor in government house commission, you know, to serve as uh, agents of government as a tax force to look into the issues of cashless economy and lack of cash in our commerce as a state. You will agree with me that this is not a state government policy it is a federal government policy carried out by the central bank governor of nigeria but why some of us are at this junction questioning the governor of Edo state is basically because the governor is supporting the fact that the current lack of cash in a commodity market should continue and for me i want to believe that any right thinking person who is doing that to a dose at a time like this is not patriotic that person is not mentally stable that person is suffering from the high on grip of ignorance and it will be very very much unfair if people like us at a time like this continue to remain silent there is nobody today who is not aware that I am not a fan of the governor. There is nobody who is not aware in the do state that I am not a fan of the governor. Everybody knows. I don't pretend it. I don't fake it. I don't like the policies of our government because to me they are deceitful. The policies of government are so so deceitful. Today petroleum products were scarce. At a time when we were in a political arena to talk about the prosperity and governance of our state, the governor claimed that he had built refineries, or rather a refinery, which the state owned special volumes of shares. And I don't think spending state monies to build a refinery in a time when we have lack of resources as the governor rightly said in very many of his engagements with the media. Building a refinery that cannot produce fuel, despite the fact that the government of Obaseki has said that the refinery will be up and running in the month of January. And this is February 13th and we are having scarcity of petrol. The government is not patriotic enough to ensure that they produce petrol, they refine petrol, so that petrol will be available for us as a people in Edo, so that this issue of uh, scarcity will not be a burden, or this issue of hike in price will not be a burden, as we are currently being faced with in the state. But rather, the government is not bothered, despite the fact that people have come out to protest. And they said they were going to set up a committee 
and then they did name key stakeholders that will be in that committee as to organizations and to date we are waiting the government to do this set up that committee but the governor is not bothered despite the high cost of transportation that we are being faced with if he says that building a refinery is in the interest of Edo why at the time when the product is scarce why can't that refinery that they said was up and running or will be up and running in January why is it not producing fuel for our people so these are the grey areas we are going to be looking into and why this discussion is going on I want our Edo diaspora particularly those people who some of them I see are chanting different political leadership in quest for our presidential stool of office as a country they were same persons who promoted the governor who were on live stream videos holding town hall meetings holding zoom meetings holding all forms of meetings to ensure that the governor was re-elected into the office of governor of those states but since after the election we have not seen them engage that process rather now they are also fronting other interests as to the president of nigeria to also come and rule over us so i really want us to be sincere to ourselves that is the major reason why i'm talking because i see a lot of you uh, the way and manner in which you insult some of us who do not share the same political opinion with you goes a long way to show that many of you are not rightly informed of the activities here you people are just being carried away of people doing one asphalt road that is no more than one, more than one kilometer not even more than uh, two kilometers people doing roads that uh, are without drainages people doing roads that lack best construction for road designs in the state and people say oh performance changes infrastructure is what they are providing any right thinking person who have always lived in a do state since 2008 to 2017 will agree with me that majority of the infrastructure we are currently using today in a do state was provided under the Adams and Leo Shomole led administration. Is it for classroom blocks, for people in public schools? If you go around the state, what you can clearly see is that of Adams and Leo Shomole's project. If you talk about healthcare, what you can clearly see is still the same thing. If you talk about infrastructure as to road, as to basic amenities you see the same thing so when we see such a government talking about supporting a federal policy that is not in line with the current demands of our economy i think this should call for a very serious dialogue if those of you who are in diaspora are saying that the government you brought is only just for you to bring and at the end of the day when the government fails or it does not fail you don't care all you do is just influence whatever decision our electorates are going to be taking back home then at the end of the day nobody cares nobody bothers if states who are extremely poor like kaduna Zamfara, Sokoto are saying that they are not joining the uh, 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 federal government on this cashless policy. Why is our state government spending resources that we don't have to pay for solicitors on behalf of the state to spend state resources? to deny our people access to money that it is obviously lacking in our commodity market. You people might want to look at it as if maybe it's just a mere situation. No, this is a serious issue. It is a serious issue. Because some of you started with talk about, hey, we advised. You said no, 
we are money bought activists we are cash activists we are this we are that we don't want the progress of Edo State. If what you people currently describe as governance in Edo State is the progress you put want for Nigeria, then the diasporans are on the evil path to destroy this country more. I will train my lines open. But before I throw my lines open, I want to leave a message for some of you. Please, if you are watching me and you want us to interact, I want you to share. Some people are saying APC is the problem of Nigeria. Agreed. Because the Buhari led government have not performed up to expectation. But the question to ask and the subject of discussion here today is our governor of a do state doing the right thing to join the federal government and Bayasa state government in a suit to stop the flow of Naira in our markets, in our society, as a legal tender. Is that in the best interest? If that is in the best interest of our people, why are they intending to raid the central bank? Why are they destroying banks in the city? We might be looking at this thing as if it's a child's play, but it is something that we are not seeing where it is taking us to. Because I don't think what the government is doing is the right thing. Those of you who went to abroad to see how you can get greener pasture for your family, your aged mother back home, and you know your aged mother only rely on cash. Your aged mother cannot operate a, a telephone very well to do bank transfer. Your aged mother cannot also uh, 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 carry out financial uh, 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 activities in their place of uh, uh, living, particularly when they live in the rural areas like our villages as we all know, particularly when they live in local governments that we don't have banks. Imagine somebody traveling all the way from Eho down to Aduawa to Rama Park all because the person wants to access bank and the only cash that person has at hand to buy something is the few Naira notes the person has. And once those Naira notes are exhausted or they are not available, that person cannot do any single thing despite the fact that the person has money being paid for him in the bank. So I want you guys to marry all of this. And our governor is going into a suit. For you to have hired a son, the governor should have spent nothing less than 20 to 30 million or 40 million naira to put those guys in the courtroom today and they will be going back to the courtroom again on the 22nd only god knows how much they are going to be charging the state now a shift from that all of the basic things that this government says they want to provide for us is it the gilegele seaport nobody's talking about it is it the industrial park nobody's talking about it and you are seeing this government doing things that some of us literally came out to say the way it is. Everybody in Edo State today knows that if not for our criticism about streetlights, the government of the day never cared if Benin City was dark at night. Today we are begging to make sure that we come back or utilize nightlife again to create more jobs for our people in the state. At a time when it was mostly needed, we shouted, we talked nothing happened and most of you might not be so quick to understand why i might be using all this analysis to make you find a common ground to see this with me our governor collected monies that were owed lucky benedictus government since 1999 to 2008 or thereabout running into billions of naira that was more of the money to put the entire Benicity in total brightness at night. But what did we do? Our governor kept mute. For over four days, a door across the globe when WK came out to say that where is our oil derivation? Nobody said anything. 
from government. He took the chief press secretary to speak lies to Ross of what Edo had gotten at the time, only for us to get another figure after a time and a figure again after a time. Our governor could not come out to speak on the issues, bothering as to his implementation or utilization of public funds in his disposal that had been paid or owed the state and been paid over time. We have heard about a bachelor loot under this government being paid several trenches. Where have these monies been utilized? So, if we see such a government, look at what happened today. In case of some of you must have not gone through those videos, I think I just have to play some for you today. I just have to play some for you today to see, particularly the one that took place in front of uh, CBN this uh, morning. Particularly that one that took place in front of CBN this morning. All right. That is front of CBN. For some of you who must have not come across this video again, I want to also play for you what transpired today in that same CBN where we lost several youths today in Edo State, numbering to over about four or five from the informations available to me at this moment. This is CBN. saw what happened today in Benin City. You saw what happened today in Benin City. And for the fact that our people are showing you that they need cash in the economy, our own government is paying a son, not just hiring state solicitors to go and represent or join the suits, they hired sons to go to court to back the government not to allow cash flow in our economy. Please, I will want people who believe that that is in the best interest of Edo State to please call in and make your contribution and advise some of us. If what the government is doing that we are saying is bad, if it is the right thing we are saying or the wrong thing. And to also align yourself or disassociate yourself with the fact that if what the government is doing is the right thing or not. So, my conscious Edo people, the lines are thrown open. I would uh, really love some of you to, uh, at this juncture, share this broadcast and invite friends. You know, a lot of people decide to be angry with me because I am telling them the right candidate to support, which is no other person than Asiwaju. They are very angry with me. You see a lot of people calling me Mao, I'm disappointed in you, but I tell them that is the best man for the job. He's the best man for the job. He's the only one that can look up to these cabals, these former generals that are killing Nigeria. He's the only one that can look up to them, these owners of uh, who bought our, 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 our discos and put it in their pocket. He's the one that can tell them, oh boy, it's enough. It is only Baba that can tell them, well, you people don't know what I'm telling you. It is only Baba that can tell them. That is why they are doing everything humanly possible to fight against him. For crying out loud, which president would want to leave Nigeria and leave Nigeria with the kind of name that Buhari is leaving Nigeria with? 
let us be sincere we, we hear about uh, supporting the uh, planning is it when Buhari is living in where Unabi is getting scarce when he was president throughout no first scarcity we didn't get in this this stuff but now we are seeing how tough it has gotten so let's be sincere are we really doing the right thing let's be sincere let's just be sincere to ourselves are we really doing the right thing so my conscious of people if you are with us uh, our lines have just been thrown open who want call for whatsapp the number to call still remain 080 3364 that remains the number for you to call in to make your contribution Our governor normal so for this thing we will see our governor they do is it normal is the governor working in our own interest these are the questions that we are asking is the governor do you see the governor as somebody who is working in the interest of two people if yes say why you say so so that some of us can also hear your own opinion and why you think so that that's the best for us our lines are thrown open if you intend to call in to if you intend to call in you can uh, you can look at uh, the, sh the comment and the share section to get phone numbers for you to make a contribution if yes say why you say so so that some of us can also you know, most people here do not really know that uh, in 2015 I never supported Buhari. Go and make your findings. In 2015, I never supported Buhari. I was pro Jonathan. I was pro Matthew Oroide, I was pro Bede Yama, I was pro PDP in that election because I knew that Buari is not the kind of man that people say is a sound guy. You know, so I heard stories, I've read books about Idiabon and Buari from very, very, very articulated journalists in the early 80s. And most of the write-ups I clearly listened to what I played out in the major segment of our political life as a people. So I did not see anything different from what they wrote in most of their books. So if you're just joining me, I told you the number to call is plus three two four or zero eight zero rather double three. 64 So let us talk to ourselves. Let us tell ourselves the truth and nothing but the truth. So if you are watching with me, we did live now. If you did watch with us, yeah, it has been pinned down. So if you want to call in to contribute, and if you're not here to contribute, please do us a favor by sharing these broadcasts do us a favor because we're going to be talking to a do people so if you're watching please share the broadcast
If you're watching, please share the broadcast. Is our governor really doing the right thing? Is our governor really working for the interests of Edo people? That's the discussion at hand. What's the breaking news on Twitter this time around? Uh, because uh, a lot of us have always lost hope. Have always lost hope in the activities of our government, particularly the Edo State government. Alright, so don't forget the elections attended today's uh, 2015th. The election is just 10 days away, and our governor says we don't have a right to own Naira. He's in a suit in the central bank that have today been uh, adjoined to the 22nd of February, three days to elections, whether if people will have cash with them or not. So for now, whatever the central bank decides to tell you, if they say no cash, no cash. If they say there is cash, there is cash. What is sad one? 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 Where are my people? Where are my people? Where they day? Where are my people? Where are my people? Where are my conscious people? Where are they? Where are my where my conscious said do people where on a day where on a day i want to see you guys live i want to see you guys live we are not doing saga here yeah. i know if nasaga they do that my phone from the ring since hey, this one do that one hey, this one do that one but now we be issues our people the wrong our whatsapp lines are on so that you can contribute via the internet and also our direct call lines are on too so that you can say your mind also appreciate us or tell us uh, advise us on what to do Advise us on what to do. Advise us on what to do. what to do my brother Agaga from uh, the comment section say my brother you are a good person but your problem is wrong candidates you are supporting no 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 my candidate I see what you Bola Metini if I where is my car let me bring my car My Asiwa Juka, you can see it, it is here, hail and hearty. 
this man so emiloko is a nice man you can see it he is a nice man you can see he is a nice man so we do all the way that's py and this is asiwaju asiwaju jagaban everybody vote for jagaban now the issue at hand is that is our governor saying the right thing or not is he doing the right thing in the interest of Edo people joining the suit? He said yes or no. Please, if you are here, join me, join me, join me, join me, join me. If I'm doing saga now, all of now will not run on. Now no saga will be discuss intellectual discourse now. We will not see anybody. For those of now we don't know, see how the city magas of our our people today. They finish four young men, gallant young men. I show you whether they push picking way bath come off for house today. They push and for inside we battle. Fair paint. Fair paint. I felt deeply paid. Today, pushing somebody in the wheelbarrow, a young man who got dressed and left the house, came out, and then after coming out, he never knew that was his last day. He had been told today that <laughs> the bullet from the <laughs> from the security man would hit him down today. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have believed this morning. So that's to tell you. The way things are. My brother, you see, that is where we get it right. That is where we get it wrong, sorry. My friend Agaga is saying I should not wear my cap to Ring Road. See, all of us must not be in the same place. Me, I know that supporting Asiwaju we are the majority. If you say you are obedient and you are supporting Obi or you are articulated or you are quampersonated, or you are show war related my brother it is your right and your opinion for the fact that i'm not supporting who you are supporting does not give you that right to infringe on my right that's why we are getting it wrong you see a lot of people come to my war they cost me call me hungry man call me up forms of new but at the end of the day they forget one thing it is my franchise it is my opinion it is my views. In every contest, one person must win. So we're surprised, uh, cousin, coming in this night. So tomorrow morning, we are going to talk to our governor. We are going to talk to our governor. I'm so surprised that despite all our disposition today, uh, none of the major influencers who are on YouTube who always come to carry our videos. I here to pick them anymore. So shocking. Daniyaji. I'm very surprised that uh, this are what is going on.
All right, my conscious adult people, let's call it a day. Uh, all of you who are here, Moreno, Morena, Sandy, Gaga, Clifford, lovely care, feel. It's a good night here for some of us. We're going to join you guys tomorrow morning. Bye for now. Now we don't hear from Emalwe Aibogun. Let us know what you think for comment session. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help us share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.